Hi, Faraz. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I'm going to show you how to do this in uh, Rivet 2014. I think it acts the same way. So let's go with our new family and we'll go down to a floor based uh, generic model. So we go to floor based here. We'll open that up. Yeah, it's going to open up soon, I hope. But yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. You can do this a lot of ways, but I'm going to show you this way, the way we did in my previous video. And I'm going to show you how to do one in place. So, first thing, we're in 14, Rivet 14. I mean, yeah. We'll do a reference plane. Like we did before, just place one here. I'm going to rush through this. I want to just mirror this across. Cancel. I'm going to select this and I'm going to just mirror it from here to here. And I'm going to do the same thing up top. Uh, or if it's playing here. And a, uh -oh, what happened? There it is. And a reference plane here. I'm going to cancel. <laughs> now, we need to do set up our parameters and our, I mean our line dimensions. Get this straight through. And we'll do one here. And then we'll set equality. And then we'll do the same thing here. <clears throat> it works pretty much the same. I think the only difference is the uh, the cutting the void acts a little different. It wasn't as smooth. I tried this earlier. It wasn't as smooth as I would have liked or known to be. So now let's create some uh, parameters here. Uh, let's select this one. We hit label here. We'll do the drop down and we'll say add parameter. Now these are all going to be instance. So we'll call this uh, with like OK. Here's our width. This one, we'll right click, label, we'll pull down, add parameter. It'll also be instance, we'll call this length. We'll say OK. So now we have a length and a width, and let's just go and do a little flexing here. There's our length and our width. Let's just make this a 4 by 4. Okay, so this is flexing good. So now let's go to our front uh, view. We'll create a reference plane. I mean, it acts pretty much the same, I think. Let's just drag this out. And then we'll do a dimension from here to here. We'll select it, right click. Oops, don't see it yet. So let's grab it again, right click. Okay, it's not letting me do that. Why? Okay. <clears throat> I think we can do it this way. That's new. So maybe, oh, I know what happened. I have to grab, I have to place a plane through here. So let's go.
Let's call this dead. Yeah, I see a few little little subtle differences. So that's that one there. So now we have our reference planes all in place. So let's flex this one. Let's make this three inches. And click apply. Okay. So everything looks to be okay. So now what we want to do, we want to go back into the reference load. And I want to use a, I want to create a void form, a void extrusion, and just go with the pick line command. Pick. And then let's undo that. We want to pick and lock at the same time. So we'll go pick line and lock it. So that's one, two, and three. Then we clean this up. And we'll click finish. Now that went down a foot in deep depth. So let's go into our front elevation again. Actually went up a foot. So we want to just align this top to this one and lock it. And now we will go into our 3D view. <clears throat> Now there's our, our our boy. Now this is what I found that was a little different in 14. So I'm gonna go cut. So we need to select this and that, and that's our cut. Let's go into our make this fine and go into our shaded view. And there's our boy. Okay, now let's go look into our type properties, and everything is a Tight because we got the uh, defaults here. So let's just okay this. Now I want to open up a new project. I guess we can go with the architectural template. But we could even use structural. Probably should have used structural. But now let's just do, go in here and create a floor. Let's do a structural floor. Go right there and let's finish it. So there's our floor. Now let's take a look at our type properties here. <coughs> Sorry, this is a 12 inch, so let's make this concrete. So we got a concrete floor here. Let's look at this in 3D view. So it's, now we can edit this floor, and it's only four and five, four and a quarter inch. So let's make it a little thicker. So here we can go in here and we go lightweight concrete. Let's change this to eight inches. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pick OK. So now it's a little bit thicker. So now let's do a window tile. Zoom all. Actually, let's do this. I don't need all these views open. So we'll go to this view. And what we'll do is we'll just view the little close hidden. And then do a window tile. ZA. So now let's load this floor slab, this depression in here. So we want to... Uh, Insert, but well, I'm sorry. We want to load this into our project. And then we'll just place it right there. So now while we're in this in this floor, we can go into our reference level. And we should be able to pick this and we can just pull this. We can pull this because we made these uh, instance parameters. So we can pull these in any shape we want. So if 
but it turned 3D view. And there's our floor. Now let's look at this. Select it again. Nope. We're going to tab to find our family here. There it is. So we got a depth of three feet. So let's make this one inch. I'm, I'm sorry, three inches. So let's make it one inch. So as you can see, we moved it up on an inch. We can take it down also. So we select it. Let's make it a little deeper. Let's make it six. So that's basically how you do that. It works the same way in um, Rivet 14. Now I'm going to do another one here. You can do this as well. You can go component. We want to model in place. So here we want to go. This is probably a quicker and easier way to do this. Uh, we want to do a generic again, I guess. And they'll call it slab depression. We'll say OK. And now we can do a void here. Let's do a void extrusion. And let's do the, and let's just draw a shape right through here. And then let's finish it. And there's our other uh, in place. Now this one's in place, so we have to do this cut again. So we're going to cut back the concrete, then the object, and finish. Uh oh, got a one in there. This is in place when it's not cutting holes. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is just cancel this. I'm going to select it, and we want to pull this down. Well, let's go and look in the side view. See, that's what happened. We're not cutting into it. Let's just grab this and drag it down. Say it about right there. Go back into this view. And there you have it. So there you go. Two places, two, two examples of how you do this slab depression. I hope this helps. And this is done in Rivet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rivet 14. So like in this one, this is our family. Let's finish this. Yeah, it worked that time. So this is our family that we created a family for. And this was the one we made in place. So we can edit the in place basically as well. And to edit the in place, we can grab and pull these around or and finish. Or you can select the family, tab to it, and you can adjust it over here. So let's make this uh, 25 by 25, and it's just a perfect square. So hey, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching my videos. Do you have any other questions, just feel free to ask. Thanks again. Uh, Arise for watching my videos. Have a good one. Bye.